on the Republican side, I think it's it's an it's an indication of how much uh, angst and anger there is with incumbents this year that Burr would be getting a challenge from the right. Now, granted, it's it's not a very significant challenge. I mean, I, I went and tried to look up some information on these candidates, and a couple of them don't even have websites up yet. So whether there's going to be a legitimate shot there, uh, probably not. But on the Democrat side, you do you have six candidates, and uh, the three front runners would be for, uh, Secretary of State Elaine Marshall, and then uh, Cal Cunningham, who's a former state legislator and also an Iraq War veteran, and then Chapel Hill Attorney Ken Lewis. And uh, Marshall's leading in the polls right now, uh, and of course she has past experience running for a U.S. Senate seat in North Carolina in 2002. She was in the Democratic primary against Erskine Bowles, and that was for Jesse Helms' old Senate seat. Um, ended up losing that to Bowles, uh, but this year she's trying to trying to run again. Um, you know, David, just like with the state legislature's uh, seats, this is going to be really good for democracy. I mean, we chuckle that there are 10 people who are vying for the two nominations here, but that means there's going to be a lot of talk, a lot of policy discussion. That's good for everybody. Definitely. And there, and there already is, I mean, on, bo on both sides. And uh, the Democrats think that they have a legitimate shot at Burr. Um, he's, he's suffered a lot. He, his name recognition is not very high. People here polls show that people here really don't know who he is and that's you know pretty dangerous for an incumbent at the same time his negatives aren't extremely high uh, so it'll be an interesting race to, to watch